Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sway to the 99 and I hope you're all having a wonderful week. And you know, today is Wednesday, so that means we're gonna be doing a delicious meal using ingredients that I have found at the 99 cent only store. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Sway to the 99. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I do post every videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays, of course, are cooking videos and Saturdays are store walkthroughs, product reviews, and um, just a little bit of everything. We kind of see what's in the store. Um, and then I show you um, the items that I bought for the week. So um, yeah, if you are new, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Everyone has continuously been blowing me away with you know your kind words and just the support that I've been getting from you guys. So I really do appreciate it. And I do really look forward to making these cooking videos for you guys. So I'm so glad that a lot of you do like them. Um, and just as a reminder, if you know if you do like my videos, please do share them with someone else who may you know may um, enjoy them as well. Um, especially the cooking videos, I definitely want to make sure that you know people can kind of get some ideas of what meals they can make using ingredients from the 99 cent only store. Uh, so today's video is actually inspired by 99 Loyal on Instagram. Um, give them a give them a check. Uh, 99 Loyal. Um, I'm going to be doing a vegetarian. Lomo saltado, which is a Peruvian dish. Um, I've never done it before. I'm not Peruvian. I have had tried it before, um, and I've never, just never made it before. Um, however, I don't have all of the ingredients that you would make a traditional Lomo saltado. So I'm just gonna improvise a little bit, but we're gonna be using all items from the 99 cent only store. And that is what this is about, is you know, just taking what you have, have fun with it, make it your own, and just, you know, it's your own meal. So just really, um, just have fun with it. So, all right, let's just quickly jump into the ingredients and then we'll um, we'll get started. All right guys, so here are the ingredients. We're going to be using um, a little bit of the seasoning, the Mexican mix, um, just to give the, um, the meat, quote meat, <laughs> a little bit more flavor. And we're just going to be using the Alexia fries, the truffle fries. I actually already have the, um, the oven preheating at 425 degrees. Um, we have the Gardein. Um, beefless strips or tips rather so this is going to be our what, lomo um, and then I do have uh, the Bon Jovi pasta sauce um, this dish actually requires you to use um, tomatoes and um, peppers however I don't have those right now I, I just you know only bought a couple items that I needed for the week however like I said we are improvising so I figured you know this could still work and I have uh, some rice left over from the other night so I think actually that's still fine so yeah, this is actually a pretty simple recipe to make. Um, and I will, um, I will list out all the ingredients if you were to make it the, you know, the, the regular way. Um, so you can try to make this at home, but this is basically uh, the essentials. The only thing that's really missing from here are the um, onions and peppers, but otherwise this is pretty much all your essentials for this meal. So, all right, let's, um, let's jump right into it. All right, so now that the oven is ready, we're going to pop our fries into the oven for about 15 minutes. And then while that is cooking, we are going to be putting together um, the beef and heating up the rice and the sauce. So again, this is a pretty simple meal. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say try it at home if you have the ingredients. Um, so I'll show you at the end how it all comes together. I'm going to be pouring in about half of the bag into the frying pan. And we are going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And I'm sure you guys can hear it. It's starting to smell really good. I'm just adding a little bit of um, the spice, um, as you can see right there, just to give it a little bit more extra taste. I wish you guys could smell this because it smells amazing. All right, next we're gonna be adding a little bit of the uh, sauce. Not too much. So I'm just gonna let this cook for another two minutes in low heat. Um, just to soak up some of the tomato sauce and at the end I'm going to am going to sprinkle some of the fries in between this just to give it a bit more flavor However, um, the majority of the fries will stand on its side So you'll see at the end as I put everything together and let's check on the fries I don't know if you guys can see there's a little bit of glare since there's still sunlight out um, However, the fries smell so good and yes, these are the Alexia um, 
uh, fries that I bought at the 99 cent only store. I've never tried them before, but I've heard really great things about them. So I'll let this finish. So the fries are done. I'm just going to let them cool off for a bit, for a moment. And yes, that is my little oven, uh, my oven mitt that I found at the 99 cent only store. It's really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let the, um, the fries cool off for one moment and then we're just gonna plate the, the meal and uh, give it a quick taste. Guys, here is the finished product. Um, the recipe does call for you to mix some of the fries into the meat, so that's what I've done. Um, I have uh, my little rice there, and I did, of course, have to add a little bit of arugula. I wanted to, you know, give it a little bit of a green touch. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it was pretty simple to make, and it looks really delicious. So I'm gonna give it a quick bite, and um, we'll let you, know, or I will let you know how it um, how it came out. All right, guys. So let's give it a quick taste. Um, I'm excited to try it. I've never made this before. Um, but it looks delicious. Mm. <laughs> hey guys, so that was my version of Lomo Saltado. Um, the vegetarian version and again, I did have to improvise a little bit. I didn't have onions or bell peppers, but you get the idea It's a pretty simple dish to make and it's actually a really popular Peruvian dish So if you go if you ever go to any Peruvian restaurant, um, that's probably the most ordered dish um, However, I think this was really good and the fries are amazing So if you do find the Alexia fries definitely get them because they're really good um, So I'm excited, you know, this was a really simple idea um, inspired by uh, 99 Loyal. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video um, and I will be doing a lot more of your ideas. I know there are a lot of you had suggested um, various um, cooking meals or cooking uh, recipes rather and obviously because I was moving I haven't really been able to um, to do a lot of them. However, now that I'm settled into my new apartment I will be doing a lot of the recipes that you guys have suggested to me so keep them coming because I definitely do need some ideas. Um, so thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate everybody who's been watching and tuning in and private messaging me. Um, the other day I had somebody who messaged to um, who messaged me that really touched me. Um, um, <laughs> I'm like I don't know how much I, should, I would would unshare right now. However, um, this you know she just made a very sweet um, comment to privately about how you know watching my videos has really motivated her to um, just to change the way she eats. Um, and just to you know look for healthier options and I really was touched because you know again I do this really just for for the passion and love for the 99 and I really expecting much from it um, But I am so touched and I feel so blessed that so many of you um, Watch every single week and tune in and comment and look forward to my videos because um, <laughs> It really does mean a lot to me guys, so I really do appreciate it um, oh my god, I was not expecting to get teary-eyed. But anyway, um, <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful week. I will be back on Saturday, I promise, back to my regular schedule. I will be doing a nice haul. And also, since I just moved in, you guys will be part of my decorating my apartment. So I'm going to be buying items from the 99 and we'll be kind of decorating the apartment. And I will show you how it all comes together. And I'll just kind of bring you through the journey. So I'm really excited. So I think that's going to be part two parts. So this Saturday, next Saturday, as I buy all the different items, and then I put all the, um, bring it all together into the apartment too. Um, so I'll give you a quick kind of an apartment tour of what it looks like once it's all completed. So thank you again for watching. If you are not yet subscribed to the 99 Shopaholics, I will link them below. They're a great fa Facebook fan page on, on Facebook. <laughs> um, they are actually the 99 cent only store's go-to fan page, so please do give them a follow. We have people from every state, Arizona, California, Texas, and Nevada. Lots of great hauls, really great items, and just crafts and meals. So it's it's a really great community. So if you are not part of it yet, you are missing out. Definitely give them a follow. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. Thank you, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment because I will see you guys in the comments. I always love to interact with you. Have a great day, and I will see you on Saturday. Oh, and don't forget to do the 99.